So we're out with Peter today. That's the Korean Larrick Hills, Ben Morse, the Binion, Crooker Drain, etc. etc. This is the uh, Tindrum Hills with the PS de la Resistance, Ben Louis. How good are these looking today? We're hopefully going to get some um, some sunrise shots uh, when we hit Rannoch Moor, Loch Tower or Loch Bar. This is Ben Derain, looking lovely and manage some Monroe, kind of double Monroe. Two summits, one of them's in Monroe, to the side. Hey, it's lovely about here this morning. So it is, so it is. Ben Doreen. Well, this is Loch Tower. And uh, the head of hills behind it. Uh, over there. And a nice bit of pink going on. So we've timed it well. Ben a shower there behind us. Boy oh boy, the advantage of being up early. We're gonna get all of that from Rannoch Moor. The time's not even nine o'clock. This is the walk tower viewpoint. There are no stags here today. Pedro's out with us again today. Alright, Peds! Uh, he's out with his drone. Pedro's drone. Come on. He's getting some 4K footage of this. Yee ha! Rannoch Moor. Black Mountain Estate. Look how wonderful it is about here today. Early bird catches the worm and all that. So it does. Pedro's got the drone out again. DJI Mavic. 4K camera. Pedro's the man. So he is. I've brought him to the spot. For Rannoch Moor. How bloody nice is that? We even got a moon in it as well, see? Moon, foreground, interest, snow, bit of reflection, what's not to like? Peter's out with his drone. Me and my drone. Right, hold it there and I'll get a photo of you. You know what I fancy? Come what? <laughs> Glencoe Ski Centre. The Buko, Anakiga Ridge, and Bena Christum. It's the road to the Highlands. The A82 through Glencoe. Can he whack it? So that road there is the road to the Glencoe Ski Centre, and it's obviously open because loads of folk have been up it. Very busy. This is the Black Rock Cottage in Buko Et of Moor, Stob Derg, the Red Mountain. Great memories up there, twice up the curved ridge. Peter and his drone. DJI Mavic. Buko Et of Moor, the Black Rock Cottage. We'll get the drone footage off of Pedro and get it in this video. Get off the road or you'll get ran down, Pedro. So after the Black Rock Cottage, it's the King's House Hotel, that's the next stop. 
and there's Bukowetev Moor and the reflection of Bukowetev Moor in the water. Superb. Anakiga Cridge, Benna Christie, is Chris it called? Last. Chris Last. What's it called? Benna Chris Last. Cumbernauld. And if it's deer you want, plenty of them round about the, the King's House Hotel mooching for grub off of folk. Just saw one swallow and a packet of cheese and onion squares. Uh, Red Deer's natural diet, of course. So we're now deep down Glen Etif. Not at the end of Glen Etif, but you've got a beautiful view there of the wee buckle and the big buckle and the Belach between the two of them. Buckle Etif Moor to the left, to the right even, and Buckle Etif Beeg to the other side. And if you follow the road down, you've got that wonderful mountain Ben Starav at the end of Glen Etif. He's a belter. It's the Deer Appreciation Society of Glen Etif. There's Pedro way down to check out the spot for the reflection shots. Is white. Walk is frozen. Nice and peaceful down Glen Etif today. You've been up at the locks and the lock hands are in there. They're all frozen solid, man. Are they? Aye. Well, we just had to bring them here for a well, See the base? See when you come up to the the one where the cottage is on the hills? Right. And you can turn right just as you go past it. There's a wee dirt road. Pull that out. There's a couple of lock hands up that way. In fact, if you go into Glencoe Village, so it is. Um, aye, this is my last stop then I'm here. I'm yeah, this coming done. Or is it? No. But that lock hand's broke because you've got the path of Glencoe in it. And see, the best way to get to it is actually go down to the village of Glencoe. And then you pass for me. She's coming to get you. <laughs> We've now reached the bottom of Glen Etif. And Pedro's out with that drone again. DJI Mavic. We just need to put up with the noise for it. But look at what we've got here. That one there's called Ben Starav. He's a beauty. An absolute beauty. And up down there. It is. Um, Ben Kruchen. Got an OTT. Somebody's whale. A lufty whale, probably. And he's OTT Ben Starav at oh, 12.32. On Sunday, punters up, Ben Starav. Now we're at the great shepherd of Etif, Buko Etif Moor. 
This is the, the wee waterfall bit. It's no far for the road at all. There's the road there. There's where you park there. Easy mate. And it's no far from the A82 either, because it's just up there. Definitely worth a visit. Oh, the lights. Dodgy. Crap. Book away to more now. Maybe may as well start at the top. Now, I did see folk up the top earlier, and folk are still at the top. And there, indeed, are those punters up the top. Now, if you went up the curved ridge, um, there's Crowberry Tower to, to deal with, and I think that's him there. So the curved ridge must be that. Can't see anyone. We're at the um, waterfall bit. At the Bukowetive Moor. You can hear yourself think now. That's Bukowetive Moor there. Now, I should be able to zoom right in on the top to see where's MD up there. Which there isn't. So that's the top of the Crowberry Tower there. Meaning that the curved ridge is that there. Definitely the curved ridge. Because the rannock walls all covered in snow. Some mountain, isn't it? We're on the way back home now, from Glen Etif. We're probably going to go down the Black Mount Estate. I don't know. There's, there's some hard coming in from the west and it's just ruining the photos. But Pedro's out with his drone. That bad boy's about to go up. So on the way home, we've stopped off at Benderain. Um, so we've passed Bridge Orkey. We didn't do Black Mount because. <laughs> right. Oh well. Just take it home and update it. Benderine, cracking mountain. Because DJI don't fuck about. Ben Manich.